Hello and welcome to the show. We start this week's various episode with Inferno the Fox on GTA 5 and a glitchy lamppost that likes to ruin a race. I don't quite know. What it upset two cars going through there. I don't quite know how. It's spe no. Special pattern. Like split second. There we go. That's the guy I was thinking of. Yes, yeah, split second style uh, lampposts. It's quite dangerous. Could be a fun power up if you could manage it. Uh, Barrett up next on the crew too was taking a photo of a monster truck, as you do when the game gets a little bit confused respawning said truck in the world first by just pinging it up into space, as you do, and when landing rather than resetting it properly. The front half is stuck in the wall, the back half out the other side, and well, the game doesn't really know how to deal with this other than to have the truck freak out. <laughs> Whenever it does get reset from being stuck here, it gets reset back in the wall, which doesn't really help, and now it's going to bounce along. It's almost driving. The wheels are certainly spinning, creating smoke off of the wall. It's definitely not how a monster truck is supposed to work, that one. Uh, King of Azur on next on Gravel. He is uh, racing around with a Hyundai. He is, I think, leading the, leading the way at uh, this point. Heading through this next section, just bounces off. I don't know, there's a post on the inside. It's a canoe. Leads to a massive number of rolls. It's a surprisingly bouncy rock as well for the poor car. About six or seven rolls by the time it comes to a rest. All from one. It's a turning in slightly too soon on one corner. That's all it took there. That's a lot of rolls. Almost, almost a lovely landing. Would have been good if it had landed on its wheels and could have carried on. Nexus is up next on Grid, getting things a little bit wrong with the Gulf. However, that is how you land it. So, I mean, the, the corner itself actually pretty good. Chucks the car in. I don't know if it bumps the wall on the inside. I think it might just miss it. Gets it's very close. It might just scrape it, but slides past the wall quite nicely. However, doesn't realise there's going to be like a big concrete divider that's used as a ramp for the car. That being said, could have gone a lot worse as it soars through the air for uh, for a backflip. I think does an AI car go underneath it, or does it just scoop past to the side? I think it might go past to the side on the yeah, on 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 the left. There you go. That'd be a hell of a side <laughs> trying to overtake the upside down golf. But there we go. Uh, also on grid two, we have confused deer. Now I don't think this is the same thing, but it's a similar sort of track, and this time it's the AI cars. Get into trouble. So, start a race with very, very fast vehicles. Players going around the outside. AI cars up ahead get connected, go towards the middle, uh, hit the concrete, and that is something that was an SLR. Uh, went for a 360 or a bit more uh, over the top. Uh, Jay Norms on Art of Rally with a bounce and a bounce and a bounce off some hay bales and a land on the wheels, and the crowd scatters. A lucky sort of pinball effect there for the RX. RX3? Uh, Curry also on Art of Rally, this time with a much faster Evo 6 style vehicle with similar bouncy pinginess, though as we head towards a tight corner, it runs a little bit wide, clips a hay bale, we're going to go for three or four rolls and it's a nice landing. Not quite pointing the right way, had to, you know, lost a little bit of time in straightening the car up, but still, considering the number of rolls, not too much tight. Apparently those hay bales are quite pingy if you get things, get things wrong. The Shy Ammonite is up next on SnowRunner, is spawning into a new area. However, there is a problem. You see, they're towing a rather large trailer, and well, as you can see, when it's spawned in, hasn't quite spawned in properly. The P12, if I remember my trucks correctly, is very much stuck on its side and not really able to be moved. The reason why? Well, such a long trailer is actually stuck in a bit of the train. When the truck was spawned in, I guess the game wasn't quite ready for this size trailer, and, well, it's stuck. It's wedged inside one of the, like, immovable train carriages. That's not what you want. That is most definitely not what you want. Steel Guns is up next on Train Simulator. Now, they have just completed a mission. They stop the train, everything is okay. Now, we saw last time that if the trains sort of bump into the buffers at the end, sometimes things go a little bit wrong. Last time it was a train falling over at very low speed. This time, it is a train completely freaking out for no real good reason. I mean, <laughs> sure, I can understand it not enjoying bumping into the, but that's definitely not what would happen. It's now jittering. The back three carriages are okay. Or back, maybe, I don't know how many get four carriages are okay there. I mean, they're, they're freaking out, but mostly because the ones at the front are glitched halfway through the floor. It's definitely not how you train. That's not that's not simulating trains. I don't, don't think. I'm not a train expert. Maybe that is what trains do on their off time. Oh, and there we go. We've pinged ourselves free. Now it's just a snake. Uh, it's like a snaky bus. It's got over there somewhere. Not ideal, really. Uh, speaking of glitchy weirdness, Envious Horse up next on Far Cry 5 has tried to load it's an ATV onto the back of a flatbed truck. Nope, the game doesn't want to do that. It's actually made the truck fly. That is one way to get flying trucks. 
not a usual one, I must say, but that's not the only thing that was having issues with flying around. Turns out you try a similar trick with a trophy truck, that also doesn't work. It's not a great flatbed. I have to, if as soon as you try and park a vehicle on it, it does this. You might want to invest in different, better ways of transporting vehicles. And yes, if you run at the glitch, it can kill you. Of course it can. Oh yeah, <laughs> Skull of X on Farming Simulator. Now, this game has glitchy physics when it comes to vehicles. We've seen it before. It's, let's say, relatively common. Turns out, sort of pallet forks. Yes, that's also just a bit too much for the farming simulator physics engine to manage. Everything is going okay. They, you know, lift up the pallet, they go to move it around. The problem is when it goes to taking a corner. Yep. <laughs> Just like wiggled itself free slightly, and then off we go. Spinning around rather rapid. That's definitely not, that's definitely not right. <laughs> and off we go through the floor and that, well, broke the pallet. Yeah, even just, or forks to lift, that's a little too much for that physics engine to handle. Quite entertaining, but uh, just a little bit too much. But there we go. That is going to be it for this episode. Uh, you can, if you have clips you want to submit to this, you can uh, via a Google form. We have got that set up now and up, up and running. There'll be a link to that in the description of this video. All the rules and how to submit them can be found on there. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a uh, goodbye.